Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Kendra G. I'm actually going to do a full video on this one woman. I did not watch the full thing. I kind of watched the beginning of it. And um, it already kind of blew me away with the beginning. So I think this is going to be a pretty, uh, how you say, educational uh episode so please like and subscribe down below i'd really appreciate that and uh let's get to the chow it's chow time all right hi hi what's your name my name is ella ella where are you calling us from first of all kendra <laughs> her and her biker hat and like her biker jacket <laughs> she looks kind of funny i'm calling from seattle washington seattle washington how old are you i'm 40. 40. Good. What do you do for a Looks living? 40. I am a um, blogger. Blogger. Why was you hesitant to tell me that? Because it's private. So you don't want people to know? You're a blogger, but you, you, you want you, it's private? Then why are you vlogging? <laughs> um, well, it's incognito. So my blog, it's like you can't tell that it's me intentionally. Okay. So that's what you do for a living, though? Yes. Oh, so you don't want to tell us more about it because you want to keep your anonymous. Exactly. Okay. Ella, I, um, you said Seattle, Washington? Yes. Seattle, Washington. Four, do you have any kids? Pretty expensive two. city. Two kids. How old are your children? Oh, two kids already. 23 and um, one will be 18 on Christmas. At least they're okay, adults. Okay, same man? No. No. Have you ever been married? Yes. Okay, when did you get divorced? September 15th. It was finalized. Oh, this year? Yes. You just got divorced like a month ago. I've been waiting to get on the show. You say got to be single, so <laughs> hurry up. Been trying to get on this show for a while, but could only get on it after she was finally single. <laughs> I got that. Oh, you already ready, girl. You've been divorced for a month and said it's time for the next one. Time to, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I've actually been dating. We've been separated for um, over three years. Okay. About uh, four years. Word knows that you don't have to answer, but do you want to share why you got divorced? Um, my. I'm going to take a guess. Uh, I felt like I was trapped and I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. So I wanted to branch out and do my own things. Something like that. Along those lines. It was an abusive relationship, oh, and then he turned into a mess addict. And um, I mean, it wasn't his, I don't believe that it was his fault that he turned into a mess addict. He was trying to um, self-soothe, soothe, I guess, um, because our daughter died, and he couldn't do. Because your daughter died? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear what happened to your daughter. Okay. She was run over by the electric company and then overdosed at the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oof. So you had three children in initially. Correct. Okay, sorry to hear that. And then the, the death of your child just kind of took you guys apart? Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I've heard about that. I've heard about when parents deal with I agree the passing with of a I've child, heard about it's it hard too. for them to stay married together. It's because the two parents cope differently. The husband copes inside and the wife copes outside, like emotionally. And she seems to think, so this is just my take on it. It's just some women seem to think that men are just like emotionless, but really like we're holding it all inside. So it kind of puts pressure on the relationship that way. Sad. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, okay. Um, so this is Ella. When's your birthday or Zodiac sign? November 25th. And I'm a Sagittarius. Sagittarius. All right, so this is Ella, Seattle, Washington. She's 40. She's a blogger, two children. Um, she's a Sagittarius, was once married. Uh, what kind of man are you looking for, honey? Okay, I got a long list. <laughs> you have a long list. Oh, people. You're 40 with two kids, and you have a long list? God damn, let's hear the list. A long list. A long okay. list. I wrote it down. So he must believe in higher power. Um, he doesn't have to be like Christian. So she's God fearing. Like Got he it. He has to believe in a higher power. He can't be an atheist. Um, so it must be spiritual. Um, he needs to enjoy outdoor activities. Um, he must be he calm, needs dominant, to? respectful, okay. um, financially secure, loyal, responsible, honest, kind, authentic, thoughtful, 
a good communicator, athletic, <laughs> health conscious, tall, <laughs> I'm not finished, <laughs> affectionate. Um Just look at the state of how everything is. She's listing this. Kendra's making faces and just like, and she laughs and says, I still got more. Most emotionally available. He must be a gentleman, hygienic, has nice teeth, well-dressed, old-fashioned, um, patient, dressed sophisticatedly, um, not skinny. If he is under 40, he must be above six feet tall. And if he is <laughs> over oh, 40, fuck. he must be above five foot nine. <laughs> oh, shit. She even has preferences for different ages? Holy shit. That's the first I've heard of this. <laughs> I knew this one was going to be a good one. <laughs> okay, explain to me the age requirements um, based on height. <laughs> um, good job, so Kendra. I'm I wanted to know about this, too. Old, and um, I, I do sometimes date guys that are like guys try to date me that are like in their 20s and sometimes um 30s and i noticed that it's easier for me to date a guy that is um over um 30 if he is taller because i don't know i guess i equate that to him being like more of a man <laughs> if he's oh, i don't know it's, it's kind of an issue of mine but i have it so Kind of an issue of mine. I don't want to fix it. This is what I have. I just have it. And then uh, if he's older, he can be shorter? Yeah, but he still has to be about five foot nine. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, are all these non-negotiable requirements on your list? Um, majority of them are, yes. Majority of that list was non-negotiables? Holy shit. What's negotiable? What's negotiable? Um, if he has facial hair, <laughs> which I didn't even say that. I do. Lo I love facial hair. Um, I also like dark skin guys. Um, so that is negotiable. Um, I I date all nationalities. So, um, but I do prefer um, a black man. So um, that's negotiable. Um, However, he can't be like super white, and by super white, I mean I mean like culturally as well as. It's funny how she says culturally, and then the other side always makes fun of white people for not having a culture. So that's just it's just the contradicting things. It's just hilarious to me. Yes his appearance, like he has to be under ten, so I can't have like an Irish dude that's just like hella pale. No, thank you. Um, yeah, so that, yeah. Um, she races against Irish? <laughs> he has to be, I think you mentioned athletic, so he has to be athletic. Yes, and so I, that's with age range too. So I like guys that are bigger. I, he can't be skinny. So skinny is definitely a non-negotiable. Like I can't do a really skinny guy. Um, that is for, another reason um but yeah i don't like really skinny guys so um and i think that has to do with like he seems like not really a grown man if he's really skinny um that too so um yeah yeah Can't How women mean, now, what are your deal breakers i'm assuming you wrote that down i i did okay so one de deal breaker that i have is that i do not want to date a guy that wait Aren't non-negotiables deal breakers? Or am I tripping out? Am I missing something? Why don't you ask the same thing, Kendra? Um, treats women that he's newly dating based off of um, his previous relationships. So, so I've exactly what guys women do to like, men. Um, oh, I used to give you know girlfriends a, a credit card when they go out of town or something, and then you're like, you're going out of town with my credit card. And he's like, oh, I don't do that anymore because like the chick, the last chick kept my credit card when we broke up and she was like booking hotels or something, you know, stuff like that. Um, I yes, so exactly, exactly what women do to men on a consistent basis is what you don't want men to do to you not okay with you telling me you know things that you know you do 
in the beginning of the relationship and then tell me, oh, you're not going to do that for me because it, it went poorly in, in the relationship previously. That's not okay. So nobody that's going to use his past experience to negate how he moves forward in his current experience? Exactly. <laughs> but don't like, we argue that? Though? Yes, we do kind of. We do kind of. But like, like I said, call this out, guy Kendra. literally did these things as a selling point. Like he's told all these things that he's done as like, this is why you should be with me. But then when it comes to, when it comes to like, okay, well, yay, we're in this relationship now. He's like, oh yeah, I'm not doing that because this happened in, in that relationship. Yeah, because he learned. Okay, so I got it. So what's some other deal breakers? Um, I don't want a liar. I can't have a lazy guy. It's just, it is literally like, a profile of her ex or something almost you know like but it's funny how women always request some of these things that become non non-negotiables you can easily tell that this is how they got screwed over in their relationship and this is why these became non-negotiables for them um he has to be hygienic like i, I can't have him stinking um and um not a cheater so i'm confused is there a lot of men that stink I mean, I know there's a lot of like overweight men that kind of smell, but do men just smell shitty in general? I don't go around snuff smelling men or anything, so I don't know. Is that many men that know how to like wash and wipe their ass or something? Or I'm confused. And I'm the thing is about it though. Um, I I'm not gonna say that this guy has to be extremely exclusive to me, but I definitely have to feel like I'm I'm the most important person in your life. So she's okay so to be a side having chick. other women as long as you're the main girl. No, I need to feel like I'm the most important person in your life. So if you can accomplish seeing other people while still making it so, I feel like I'm the most important person in your life, then yeah, how about it? Most important person as in the females he's dating or just overall? Most overall, important the most important person in your life. Over his, what if he has children? Yeah, I would prefer him not to have children. Oh, what's the age range you want to date? Um, I'm going to say... 32 up as long it's weird that women that with children prefer men that don't have children <laughs> it's like dating your lane no because he can get up and walk and, and athletic but you have two kids so he if, can't have kids if they're <laughs> grown like my kids are grown okay your kids are grown so if he has grown kids exactly fine. Okay, now back to my original question. He's starting to make me feel like I'm the most important person in his life. So, the person that's not my kids in my bloodline, I have to treat better, make feel better than my actual bloodline. Get the fuck out of here. You want to feel more important than his own children? Yes. Crazy. Would he be more important than your children? No. But oh. <laughs> Oh. Let me do this one more time. Just, oh, God damn. Ooh. The double standards. And I'm going to make him feel like he is. Girl, now look. Mm -hmm. I'm going to allow you to speak and put out there in the universe, but that's a crazy as hell request to Good say call, that a Kendra. man needs to make you feel more important than the people he brought into this planet. <laughs> and you just said yourself, he would not be more important than your children. Right. So you don't think that's kind of crazy to say, I need to be See, this more. Is Look at her, so she's like, right. Like, as if like, oh, of course, Kendra. <laughs> are, you, are you dumb, Kendra? Where have you been all your life, Kendra? Of course my kids are more important. But you're not, you're not listening because I, I didn't say he ha I have to be more important. I said he needs to make me feel. But like, why? Why do you have to feel like... more important than his own children? I just, I his mama. So you got to just... be, so be more important than she his mama. He doesn't even too? know why. I just don't want his mama or his children to be an issue in our relationship. That's what I mean by He's that. He's just meeting you. This man, you, you about you... to meet him for the first time. Whenever you meet him, these people have been with him his whole entire life. And you need to jump the line before his mama and his kids as an importance in his life. If we're in a relationship <laughs> together, I you separate yourself from your uh, previous relationships and we are one and 
that's what well, I got the divorce in your last relationship. You or your husband? I did. Of Why course it was her, Kendra. Are you serious? Come on, Kendra. You should, that was a no-brainer. I told you why. He Tell me again. Tell me again. He, became again. he was addicted to meth. Oh, okay. He was on something. Yes. Ooh, okay. Let's keep going, Ella Child. So um, you said, <laughs> tell me the age range one more time that you would date. You're 40. 30 and above. 30 and above. All right. So this is Ella, Seattle, Washington, 40, Sagittarius, a vlogger. Uh, she's going to keep that a secret. Two grown children. Um, all right. Does he have... I feel like she's keeping that vlogging a secret because she doesn't make that much money off of it. <laughs> I don't know if she actually works because she doesn't say anything about working and she used to be married. So I'm going to assume the husband used to, to do to carry a lot of the weight and finance wise. So that's just my theory. You have to look, you told me this week over, does he have to look a certain way? Yes, he has to be um, attractive and presentable and not skinny. I'm not skinny. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Yes. Over six figures. Over six figures? That's a millionaire. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, of course. That'd be great. So are you saying he has to be a millionaire or do you, are you saying he has to be high six figures? High six figures, yes. What's the lowest six figures you would date? Um, 300000 300 Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 40 with two kids has to meet the least make 300,000. Good luck, girl. So I'm assuming you normally date men in this category. Yes. Why are you lying? You've been married this whole goddamn time, according to you. So you date millionaires constantly. You fucking liar. Get the fuck out of here with that lie. So what's going on with them? I haven't settled for anyone. Yeah, because they don't fucking want you if you are dating them. Or they're not even in your radar. Um, what's been the issues? They are not meeting all my requirements. Okay. So, Ella, you're... See, this is either Cap or what the fuck this is. If she's meeting 300 k men and they're not meeting all of her requirements what makes you think that you'll find a 300k man that will you're fine like if you don't find a guy to fit everything you'll be okay with being by yourself it sounds like yes i have okay. so many vibrators say again i have lots of toys you have lots of toys <laughs> this is what we're like uh reduced down to men reduce reduce down to a reduce down to money that's one money can fully replace us that's one and now toys and vibrators can also fully replace us with just money and toys they don't need no man no more according to them except for when they need to open the pickle jar okay so you're willing to either you get what you desire or you'll you'll stick with your toys and find happiness that way. Absolutely. Okay, that's fair. Um, all right, let's do the Kendra Cam, baby. We gotta see your full body. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if she's just trying to pop those titties out or what. Okay, yeah, I could tell you're thin. Yeah. Okay. So, Ella, when was your last relationship? I know you just got a divorce, but you said you've been dating, right? Yes. Um, my last relationship was about, um, I think it, it ended in March. End of March. Okay. You don't have to answer, but when's the last time you was intimate with someone? I am not going to answer that. Okay. They want me to ask Probably you, yesterday. Uh, why would you, so you wouldn't date anybody that made less than 300000 So, if a guy made two hundred k, uh-oh. Ella? Ella, are you still there? I'm not sure if she went away. Onyx Monopoly. Hey, Onyx. Onyx paid two hundred dollars, so I'm gonna read what Onyx says. I have learned that I have learned is many of us will die alone, shallow. I met some amazing <laughs> gentlemen, all shapes, sizes, ethnicities over the past few months, and I no longer care about height and weight. We can lose weight, laying down. Height is irrelevant, and ugly hearts, spirit, and soul is dead. Um, hey, Onyx. That was well, a good $200 let me say this. This is why I always ask this question. 
if you don't get what you want, are you okay with being by yourself? And once you tell me you're okay as, oh, Ella's back. I think you're back. You back, Ella? What happened? Back. Yes, I'm back. Sorry. What happened? The screen was ringing. Back. Huh? Oh, your phone My was phone ringing. Was ringing. Yes. Okay. So did you hear what Onyx said? Do you want me to read it again? Oh, no, but yes, please read it again. Okay. So Onyx says she paid $200 to make this remark. I have learned that many of us will die alone being shallow. I met some amazing gentlemen, all shapes, sizes, ethnicities over the past few months, and I no longer care about height and weight. We can lose weight lying down. Height is irrelevant. A ugly heart spirit is dead. Do you want to respond to that? No, I agree 100 percent I mean Tisha Gong. Do you think you're shallow? Um no. <laughs> Why not? I think a lot of people want what they want. And when we figure out what we want, we should stick to it. We shouldn't lower our standards because we haven't found what we want yet. Just keep looking. So what does lowering your standards mean? So like if a guy had, if he treated you well, um, but wasn't your height requirement to you, that would be lowering your standards? Well, it kind of depends on what it is my height requirement, because like if I'm allowing this guy to be in my life to treat me well, then obviously I'm, there must be something. How women speak, if I allow him to come into my life and treat me well, like it's a privilege for us men to come take care of you. It's not a privilege for us to do that. You do know this, right? It's actually costing us time and resources to do these things for you. How is that a benefit to us or like a perk for us? <laughs> about him. So I, I wouldn't be lowering my standards because something about him made him not, it not matter if he's in my life to treat me well. But okay. All right. So you have you have your right to your salary preference. Um, but do you care to say why you wouldn't date a guy that made 200K? Well, it depends on where he lives. Like I live in Seattle and I travel to like Hawaii a lot. So um, in those places, um, 200K is like barely anything. So when you got divorced, I'm assuming y'all were separated, right? How long were y'all separated for? We were separated for three years. For three years. OK. OK. Um, Almost four, actually. I'm trying to think of our last. Oh, our last question. You said um, your last question was March. OK. So, yeah, Ella, why do you think you're single? Um, because I am super um, particular. You know that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's why so she's you enjoy be single. You, you enjoy alone time. <clears throat> I do. I do. Yeah. OK. And I, uh, I also enjoy being pursued, and I'm pursued a lot. Okay, you're pursued a lot. Oh, so why sure don't you, you settle or not? I don't want to use the word. Yeah, probably for sex. Or settle. I hate that word. But if you're pursued a lot, why aren't those things leading to anything long term if that's what you desire? Because they're not what I desire. None of those people are what I desire. So the people that you desire, are they trying to pursue you? I haven't met any that I desire yet. Yeah, that's why I don't think you've ever dated 300K guys. I'm fucking BS over here. Like I said, I have a long list. Right. And so once I get, you know, you have to check off the list while you're dating people. You check off the qualities that they have. Like, I don't know how respectful this guy is when I meet him. I don't know how loyal he is when I meet him. I don't know how responsible or honest or kind or authentic he is when I first meet him. So it's going to actually take me to get to know this person, to know these things about him. So for the people who says that I'm shallow or whatever, I forgot what they said I was, but um, yeah, most of these things you actually, for him to be a good communicator, I, I, I actually have to communicate with him to know these things. So okay. listen, I so listen, I already know how my page is and my followers. So there's two questions I want to ask you and you might not even care to even answer these questions, but I would like to get your opinion. Salary. I feel like a lot of people are going to say that you don't deserve a man that makes that type of money that that type of man that makes 300,000 or more is not going to wipe you up or settle down with you for whatever reason. Do you want to respond to that comment that will be said? I'm sure of it. To me, that's just hilarious. Um, for someone to say what I don't deserve, it's like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you have no um, idea. Um, another comment, I'm quite sure people are going to say that your list is um, unrealistic and there's too many things up there for that 
for you to find that person. Um, do you care to respond to that comment that will be said? Whoever says that, they can go and settle for whatever. And that's why they probably end up... Women have no clue that these men even exist or not. They just create these major lists because they've been ran through or whatever. And because this man did this, I'm going to put him on the list to not be like that. And then you create this Superman of a list that no man in the world even actually matches. This is the problem. Like, you think this man exists and you're going to find him. This man literally does not even exist. For all the things that you're asking, there is no man on the planet that matches all of those criterias. No man. So, yes, it's very unrealistic and you're fucking gonna be dying alone and single if you are not willing to make any concessions on your list with a trash person or be treated poorly in their relationship i mean the thing is to each their own if you want to settle for whatever's on your list if you want to have two things on your list and go with whatever do just be a pick me whatever i'm not a pick me damn this bitch just straight up went for the pick me so strong effinist type for sure you know, we already kind of knew it from all the lists, but when her, when she straight up said, pick me right there, we know exactly what type of woman she is. I, I pick what I want. And if, if you're not what I want, then I'm, why would I waste my time? It's like, <laughs> what? You don't get to pick so what you, you want. Really you have to settle down with the, the people that actually pick you. You can't just pick and then be like, oh yeah, Mr. Uh, six foot two athlete, just marry me. That ain't going to happen. Oh, your vibrator. A battery is better than a human being that might not have everything on I, No, I feel like my vibrator is better than a hostile guy that is too um, lax. He can't be a leader. He's irresponsible, unrespectful, unloyal, um, dishonest, uh, unkind. She literally right? just keeps going through her list. She's like really has this down. Inauthentic. You know, I, I that's what I think my vibrator is. If, if he's not meeting most of these criteria, yes, I think my vibrator is way better than that. And I also have a, a, a cuddle. I'm telling you, man, we get replaced by money and now a vibrator. Like sexual pleasure, vibrator, provision, money. That's all they, they, they know men as. We're not even humans. Little pillow, a cuddle pillow. Pillow, yes. But what if something, God forbid, what if something happens and you need a human being to help you with something? Do you think about that at times or no? No, no I do. She's gonna put that like, pressure on her two sons. I, I, I just don't. That's exactly feel what's like gonna happen. Because I mean, real quick, because because when you, when you bring a vibrator, you're pretty much demoting a man to a sexual activity. Like you're no. just kind of spoiling. Pretty finish. much. You're just kind of saying, I have my either I'm gonna use my vibrator or I'm gonna get my list. But only thing that the vibrator can offer you is sexual pleasure. It can't be there when you have a bad day. It can't be there when you're sick. It can't be there if God forbid something happens to you and somebody got to make a phone call so for someone to come caress you and make you feel better. So you know, it's like you're just comparing a male to the sexual activity opposed to everything else a man can bring into your world. Right, but if the guy is disrespectful. Kendra. If he is dishonest, a bad communicator, if he is unhealthy. She literally just looks at her list and just like, if he's not this, he's not this. He's not. She's been doing it for like the whole episode. Like, damn, this list is that important to her. They're ineffectionate or un emotionally available. And it's funny because this is important to her, but she can't memorize it. She always has to constantly look at it too. <laughs> I mean, yes, I would prefer to have my vibrator. See, it's like there there these are things that i need i don't want a stinky guy laying in a bed with me if he's unhygienic so, so, so to be clear a man for you can only please you sexually yep no I, that's how she sees that's him. why good communicator it's not just pleasing me sexually if he is kind and authentic and loyal that's she has no clue what she's sexually. saying but, 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 I'm, but, we, but I, I guess i'm trying to get you to understand what i'm saying because you're saying either the list or a vibrator. You're not right. So, my, well, my point is the things that are on my list aren't just <laughs> things that um, help me sexually. But I'm, what I'm saying is if these things that are on my list, if I can't get that, if I can't get these things, like these are 
very important things that I need. It's not like I'm asking for him to be a trillionaire or fly me to London to go get dinner or something. I'm sure, asking sure, because three hundred thousand dollars is so secure, outrageous. Respectful, honest, kind. Well, you're asking for him to make. Thoughtful. You're asking for him to make over three hundred thousand dollars, which that is okay. How many? There's a lot of people out there to make over three hundred thousand dollars. No, there isn't. Lots of them. I mean, listen, I live in a world where that is true. I mean, but um, I will say a lot of the men that do make that amount of money and more. Well, you already did mention you don't have to be the only woman. You say you just got to feel like the most important woman. So you're open to him having other women. Like I said, as long as I feel like the most important woman in, in his life. As long as I feel like the I'm most important person. Question clearly. If he can, if he can, no, I'm asking this question clearly. Could he have mm -hmm. other sexual partners as he's dating you or being with you? Um, I'm I'm going to say no because <laughs> I I don't want to. what. Good call, Kendra. So she literally just contradicted herself. It's okay with uh, being the most important if he does whatever he wants, but now it's like, oh no, he can't have other women. To know about it, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to know it exists. I need to feel like I'm the most important person in his life. So you want to be in? A I do know that most guys. I do. So know you'll be okay guys. with being in a relationship delusional? Like you'll be okay with being in a, with a man? Why we say women love being lied to? <laughs> well, it's not delusional. <laughs> It's, it is it's not, not because you're saying you don't want to know the truth. You're saying you're saying as long as I don't know about it, it's okay. That's what you're telling me. Because I'm asking you the question clearly, and you said you got to feel like the most important person. So exactly. it's kind of contradicting. So like you're saying, as long as I don't know about it, I'm saying if he is, he's really if he's good enough to make me feel like like if he's sneaky enough to have his little side piece. And he's still making me feel like I'm the most person, important person in the world. And I'm still don't, I never see him texting anybody or calling. She's stop trying to reiterate. She literally told you what you wanted. You want to be lied to and you want to live in delusion. Anybody, if he's that sneaky, heck yeah, have your side check. If you can do that, then do it. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Ella? Because I'm traditional, I'm loyal, I'm playful, I'm a great cook, I clean, I take care of my man, I'm honest, I am adaptable, I am thoughtful, and I'm nurturing. Okay. This is Ella, she also Seattle, put that Washington. On he list. doesn't have to and be in Seattle, Washington, shitty. right? No. Okay. You said you're open to all races, correct? Correct. All right. She's a blogger. She won't share the blog with us. She has children. I'm assuming you're done with that, or do you want more kids? I do not want more kids. Okay. I figured that uh, already. She's strong ready 40. Strong 300K or more policy, correct? Correct. All right. I'm a man and, in his 40s right, that makes it. 300K. All right, let's do it, Ella. This is How do you want the guy to Probably reach out to kids. you? Oh, she'll date 30 and above. How yeah. do you want the guy to reach out to you? You can reach me on Instagram, and that is ms underscore p-r-i-s-s 360. Let's do it again. So spell it slowly. M-s dot, or no, underscore, sorry. M S underscore P R I S S. I think it's right, 808. Man. She just gave out her Instagram, Instagram page. But hit her yeah, up I'm if you sure got that 300K. Let's let's be clear. <laughs> she she <laughs> seems like a good pick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 808. It's M S underscore. She doesn't even know her own goddamn tag name. God damn. All right, let me check real quick to see. Um, yes, please. <laughs> yes, it is Miss Chris Hadery. I'm getting a bunch of new followers right now. All right. Chrissy, oh, so the um, SS808? MS underscore P-R-I-S-S-808. Yep, Ella Smith. Yep, that's me. Okay, so it's MS underscore P-R-I-S-S-808. Get to it, man. Ella, girl, you know, we got to agree to disagree, but it's your life, and that's the great thing about it. Any decision that you make is not going to affect me. It's going to affect you. And the one thing that you said is you will have a vibrator before you don't have what's on your list. And that is your life. And you have the right to to, to say that. And, <laughs> and we have the right to judge her it. for being Well, delusional. But I would like for you to keep me posted and let me know if the man on that paper exists and reaches out to you. <laughs> Thank you, Kendra. Kendra. You know what? I love Kendra. Like, her show is pretty funny. And, like, she's she's not even part of the manosphere, but the manosphere uses her 
<laughs> content all the time. I just wanted to go over one comment that I saw that was really hilarious. And it's this comment here. So she called into the show to remain single. Pretty fucking much. <laughs> Welcome back to the Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Kendra G. I'm actually going to do a full video on this one woman. I did not watch the full thing. I kind of watched the beginning of it. And um, it already kind of blew me away with the beginning. So I think this is going to be a pretty, uh, how you say, educational uh episode so please like and subscribe down below i'd really appreciate that and uh let's get to the chow it's chow time